Before going to the creation curve, another concept that is in settings of the curve are subdivision friendly curves. In this lesson, I want to explain them what, what is <clears throat> the subdivision friendly uh, curve. Okay, first, uh, first select a control point curve to draw. In its settings, we have something called subdivision surface no or yes. We can click between yes or no. First, I <clears throat> set it to no and draw a curve with this point guides. Right click and bring it to the no subdivision friendly. Going to the curve, make it yes, and draw again with a snap, and right click, and go into the yes. Okay, you can see the first difference between them. It has more bend on them. This is subdivision friendly. Another important uh, condition of uh, subdivision friendly curve is that this control point are locked and you cannot change the tangent between end and end start and the three control points of a start and end of the curve for example this curve or any of curve like this are in the same direction it's in line look at this image this is a <coughs> subdivision friendly curve and as you can see this is lock you cannot change the tangent and are three that those three control points are the same direction, start and end. This is another condition of the subdivision <coughs> surface. Another condition of the subdivision surface, there are uniform degree three. I explained what is a degree in the parallel sense. Degree three. Okay. So now going to uh, understand the main change of them. Uh, sorry, main difference between them. You have to think about the modeling in a Rhino. If you want to modeling with the subdivision modes, you have to create a subdivision friendly curves for those. If you are going to the modeling in a regular or in a, a normal modeling of the Rhino that is a surface curves, it's not important. For those modeling, they are not use subdivision friend is not important because for example if you want to go into this curve as you can see use a subdivision friendly is no and we have a lot of sitting here that we can change the tangent and we have a lot of things to do but if you set it to subdivision friendly yes and all of that sitting disappear and you cannot change the tangent between a start and end and we got a lot of problem for our modeling so when you are modeling with a surface and poly surface in a regular of modeling do not use subdivision friendly it's not important but if you plan to uh, modeling with subdivision tool from the first turn the subdivision friendly yes okay for example we have a <coughs> uh, no subdivision friendly curves here. I want to make a surface from them. I will explain the law, but it's here. It's simple. Click on it, select, and you have to choose any curves that you want, but the uh, position of the click is important. When you click here, click here, the corresponding direction of that. Exactly. If you click here, it's getting a very strange surface click here and right click and hit ok as you can see we create a surface from that uh, from those lines ok now we select those curves holding shift and select those curves with uh, alt click and drag to copy them ok I want to change those curves to the subdivision friendly for doing that, going to the subdivision tool, here is a curve with a heart. It's called make subdivision friendly. Click and look at the curves, the changes. As you can see, the change to the subdivision friendly curve. Their bend are very more because those three control point going to the same direction. Okay. 
And now I want to again make a loft. Select a loft, click, click, and right click and okay. As you can see, the topology is different. Okay. The topology of the curve uh, subdivision friendly are the best. Okay. Now I want to go in. This is a surface modeling and everything is correct and right. You can do it. But I want to change my plan and go into the another world in a Rhino going to making subdivision surface modeling. We have a tool called convert to the subdivision. Click on it. I want to convert those two uh, surface to subdivision. Click, click, and right click, right click twice, three, and it's done. I don't need to explain them. I explain uh, in the next lesson. Don't worry. But we have a um, subdivision surface on the pervious surface. Select that and bring it here. Select the subdivision and bring it here. Okay. This is the most important bit uh, difference between a subdivision surface curves. This surface is created with no subdivision friendly and if it convert to the subdivision surface as you can see the topology has changed and it is very bad because of model has will really change and when for example you have designed a beautiful model in normal or surface and polygon modeling of rhino and change your plan going to the subdivision surface everything will miss because your model change and it's very bad as you can see that the software adds some isoparms here and change the topology but this line is not important but here as you can see those lines will be not changed and our model are the same exactly at the original model but as you can see the sharp angle in a subdivision model we have not any sharp angle in subdivision modeling or everything is smooth but the important thing is the topology does not change and it is very important as you can see the exact line are here and the subdivision surface tool does not um, delete or add any additional uh, lines or isoparm for changing your topology or model okay this is subdivision surface subdivision uh, friendly curves and you saw different between them use them if you want to modeling with a subdivision surface mode hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release